learning theory is a learning methodology which enables adults to apply what they've learned to the real world. When done properly, it results in shortened learning curves for employees in your company or for students in the classroom. In order for adults to commit to learning, several things must usually occur. They must consider the goal to be achievable. If adults believe it will be too difficult, learning may not happen at all. They must place value on what they learn. Application to the real world must be clear. Small group activities enable them to share their learning experience. Peer support is enhanced, thus reducing fear of judgment. This tutorial provides training tools which will enable you to overcome challenges in adult learning theory. These tools include Believe to Achieve, Real World Application, Small Group Activities, The 70-30 Rule, Process Comprehension Questions, See Do Teach, and Emotional Memory. Let's discover these amazing tools one at a time. Never give students the impression that what they're about to learn is beyond their capacity to comprehend. They must feel that the goal is achievable. This is what is meant by believe to achieve. When confronted with difficult concepts, give them confidence by using phrases like these. By raise of hand, how many of you were totally confused when you read the instruction manual? You see, you're not alone. I'm going to explain things in a way that is much simpler. If a student gives an incorrect response to a question, never say, no, you're wrong, you totally suck and I hate you. Instead, use more encouraging words, such as, that's close, or tell me more. Adults must see the value in learning something before they will commit to learning it. If they can see how it applies to them, they will be more accepting to change their behavior. You can do this by explaining the why. For example, you could say, our supervisors have a new attendance report they want you to fill out. The reason is because many of you are losing vacation time due to inaccurate records. Knowing the reason for instructions gives people a sense of purpose. During class, be sure to create opportunities for students to work together in small groups. They will teach each other concepts in a new way and discuss how it applies to them. Peer support is an essential element of adult learning theory. It also makes the class interesting and interactive. One way to do this is through games and rewards. All right, class, I'm going to split you up into two groups. Whichever team can disassemble the machine first gets a gift card to Chili's. If learning activities are in a virtual environment, provide an online discussion forum where students can collaborate together on ideas and exchange information. Remember when you were in school and the teacher stood up at the board and gave a five-hour lecture on the square root of a turtle? How much of that lecture do you remember? Lecture-based learning is the oldest and most commonly used method of teaching, yet it is the least effective. Studies show that students only retain about 5% of a lecture. There is a much better way. What if you let the students do all the talking? Professional instructors and trainers follow the 70-30 rule. Let the student do 70% of the talking, and you only need to talk about 30%. This sounds hard to do when teaching new concepts, but it can be easily done with PCQs. PCQ stands for Process Comprehension Question. Instead of giving a 30-minute lecture on the history of the company, an instructor decides instead to ask open-ended questions, which allow the student to show how well they understand a certain process. For example, the instructor would say, Last year we developed a mobile app for our products. Why do you think that is? How does our product appeal to a mobile platform? Who do you think the target market would be? Where is the value? You'll notice the instructor never asked, do you understand? This is because he knows that a student will usually say yes with a big smile. The lights are on, but nobody's home. This type of question has either a yes or no answer. 
a good instructor avoids this type of question because it does not assess understanding. Always stick to open-ended questions. One of the best ways to utilize the 70-30 rule is the see-do-teach model. During class, let students see how a certain skill or concept works. Then give them a chance to do it all by themselves. Finally, have the student teach someone else what they just learned. It's that simple. A study done by the University of Texas found that people only remember 10% of what they read. And they only remember 50% of what they see and hear. Yet people can remember 90% of what they say and do. By adding this extra step of students teaching each other, they are locking in that information with 90% retention. When students teach each other, it accomplishes several things. Verbalization. It allows the student to verbalize what he or she just learned, thus reinforcing the concept. Mastery. If you can't teach someone else how to do something, do you really know how to do it? Class management. Sometimes the teacher or instructor doesn't have time to check that each student has mastered every skill or concept. An extra set of eyes helps ensure each student is successful. Peer coaching. A fellow student may be able to explain concepts in a way that best fits another's learning style. Now let's talk about emotional memory. What is the funniest commercial you've ever seen? Do you remember the product they were selling? Advertisers know that a person must see an advertisement at least seven times before they will remember it enough to buy it. This is true unless the commercial is funny sad, weird, or scary. Well, why is that? This is because the memory was triggered by an emotional response. Think about that funny commercial you saw. Did you have to repeat it to yourself seven times until it stuck? No. According to authors Lorraine and Lucas, students can remember 100% if they attach an emotion to the concept. Students will come to you and say, I almost forgot the answer until I remembered that story you told me about dragons and barbecue sauce. I couldn't get it out of my head. The best instructors and trainers tell weird stories throughout the course because they know students will never forget. Let's review what we learned in this adult learning theory tutorial. Believe to achieve. Real world application small group activities, the 70-30 rule, process comprehension questions, see, do, teach, and emotional memory. By utilizing these tools, you're well on your way to becoming a world-class instructor and trainer.